So the first thing you're going to want to do is actually turn off your iPhone if it's on. To do that, you're going to press and hold on the power button right there until you see the power slider come up. So power off, so slide to power off and it should turn off. So let it sit for around five minutes or so. And in the meantime, you can install iTunes. It is very important to let it sit for around five minutes or so just to make sure that the phone is fully off. So whether you're using a Windows computer or a Mac computer, you're definitely going to need iTunes. So let's install iTunes right away. To install iTunes, you're going to simply type in iTunes and hit download. And you're going to want to make sure that you're downloading the right version for Windows if you're using Windows. So if your computer is a 32 bit, then you're gonna to wanna to download the 32 bit. If it's a 64, then you're gonna to wanna to download the 64. So for me, it's just a 64, so I'm gonna download it right away. So click download, and it should comes up in the bottom part of your screen. So it might take some minutes or seconds, for me it's some seconds. So once it's done, you're gonna open it and install it. So hit open. And as you guys can see over there, it is now installing. So it's going to ask you welcome, blah, blah, blah. Hit next. Um, hit install. And it's going to ask you to install. Are you sure you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just hit yes. And it should install in a couple seconds or minutes for you. For me, I hopefully it takes some minutes. <music> So it might ask you if you want to do this again. So if yes again. After iTunes is finished install, you're gonna hit finish. And it should start up iTunes. So it agree and all those fancy stuff. When you open it, it's gonna hit you with this prompt. A new version is available. So you're gonna wanna download that new version just so you're not missing anything. And you're gonna hit agree. Currently updating iTunes to the latest version. It might ask you to restart your PC. So go ahead and restart your PC. And it's restarting, shouldn't take long. So the computer has restarted. So go ahead and start up back iTunes. Now this is where it gets a little bit different. So if you're using the iPhone 8, you're gonna to wanna to press and hold the power button to put it in recovery mode. And if you're using the 7, you're gonna to wanna to press the down volume button press and hold it to go in recovery mode. And if you're using the SE, the iPhone SE, you're gonna press and hold the power, but the home button right here. In my case, I'm using the 7 Plus, so I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold this button right here. But before I press and hold that, I have to plug it in at the same time while I'm pressing and holding. So let's go ahead and plug in the charger right there. And I'm gonna plug it in my computer while I'm pressing and holding. So I'm pressing and holding the down button and I'm gonna plug it in right away. And keep pressing until you see that recovery mode pop up. So there it is, you're inside recovery mode just like that. Here you can see on screen there's a problem with the iPhone that requires to be updated or restored. So I want to restore my iPhone actually. And it doesn't matter if I lose all the files that's on this iPhone, but for you, you're gonna wanna make sure you back up your iPhone first. So hit restore and just do restore and update. Hit next, hit next, agree and hit done. So at first, it doesn't seem like nothing is happening, but if you read here, it says iTunes is downloading the software for this iPhone and will restore your iPhone when the download is complete. So I'm guessing you should just wait out this process. So just a little update, um, iTunes is preparing to restore the software on this iPhone. So if you can see up top, it's saying it's extracting the software. So it should start in a few seconds, guys. I'm not sure what's happening, but it's disconnecting and reconnecting to my computer automatically. So don't get panic or anything like that. It is doing it automatically. So just wait it out. As you guys can see, it is loading. You can see closely, it has a little bar there. So it's loading slowly but surely. 
and if you look on the computer screen you can see it is restoring the iphone software so there it is it is loading it will take some time but currently i've been waiting around 10 minutes so far so i'm so sorry i didn't caught that message that pop up on the screen but i did get a picture on it and it basically said that my iphone was pretty much done restore and now i'm getting this message right here and you can see it is loading because it's a brand new iphone so it is factory set and you're all good here's the message so here you can see success your iphone has been unlocked to set up and sync iphone click continue so go ahead and click continue right away so it's just basically giving you a welcome um you can sync it and all those stuff but you can do it on the phone as you can see the phone is open right now it is giving you that brand new startup so you're pretty much done so let me know if this video was helpful to you guys you can go ahead and unplug your phone um let me know if this video was helpful to you guys leave a comment in the comment section if you're still going through some issues let me know so we can help out each other in the comment section so also if this video was also helpful please consider subscribing to this channel it really helps